and welcome to Media Pool. My name is Olivia Seed and in this video essay we will be discussing the theories to which guided me in the production and analysis of my work. From Burgess Stepp's framework I will argue that videos which embody a practical value with a social currency give viewers an insider's feel are more contagious in viewership than videos that provoke emotion and follow a story in a styled narrative. However, I will argue in accordance with Duo Kim and Rubin in their empirical study of how video production affects student engagement that by employing the characteristics suggested, my Media Geek video effectively captures my target age range and retained attention. I will argue using Nahon and Hemley's viral life cycle that the different videos produce different life cycles and that they reflect the nature and genre of the video. Linking to this, I will further demonstrate how the application of QN and Lingual's suggested social media content plan gave structure and support to my video's promotional value. In turn, this helped organise an endorsement of weak ties and built my strategy for connecting with key influencers. Contagious characteristics. My Media Geek video focuses on the explanation of the inverted pyramid structure that is commonly known throughout journalism. In this video, I focused on explaining how the pyramid works and why the structure is so globally followed. By keeping this video focused on the explanation, it enabled me to offer value to students and save them time in their understanding of this concept. Berger states that we need to find our inner remarkability and make people feel like insiders. I changed the name from Inverted Pyramid Structure to Want to star on your media exam? Watch here for journalism theory. This title change therefore gives a sense of curiosity. It makes the viewer, upon clicking, feel like they're gaining valuable information on the topic that others aren't. It also doesn't tie the video simply to education, but to ideas of success and ease, something most people would want to be associated with. This adaption of practical value and social currency ranked higher and more contagious than that of my emotion and storytelling within my Media Society video. My Media Society video was a string of continuous reactions from people watching the same video by PDA Animal Charity. The shocking video followed the story of geese being tortured, killed and stripped of their feathers ahead of the production of Canada Goose Jackets. The gasps and upset emotion from the individuals being filmed prompted empathy and sympathy for the geese. Upon reflection, it was clear that there were two stories being told here, one of the geese and their killing and two of the human reactions to such violence, both evoking emotion. To quote Berger, he says, When we care, we share, implying that the video would have a contagious nature. I found this to be true. It would therefore be reasonable to suggest that amongst Berger's steps framework, that videos that encompass emotion and story style narratives encourage a deeper level of engagement with a smaller amount of people. Compared to the elements of practical value and social currency, of which encourage more viewership and shareability within a wider and broader reach of audiences. Student engagement. In contrast with this video, I followed a different strategy for an ensuring engagement within my Media Geek video. Duo Kim and Rubin 2014 constructed an analysis of the different effects of student engagement when the production of a video is altered. They concluded that pre-production improves videos, a talking head was more engaging, Khan style pen casting was more engaging, and that speaking rates affect engagement. Given this analysis, I conducted the following. 1. A production plan. I wanted to make sure that every element was covered before starting the filming and the production. It was here I considered things that I would have once overlooked. For example, a colour scheme, camera angles and positions. 2. I adopted the talking head approach. My pre-production plan guided me from this transformation, from this to this. Conclusively, these suggestions have aided my video's viewership and engagement by increasing its technicality and opportunities for explanation through visual aesthetics. Calls to action. The nature of them differed however. Within my Media Geek and Media Culture, I ask viewers to like, subscribe, leave a comment below and to check out our other videos. These call to action have a commercial value, to maintain engagement with the video after it's ended and to increase the likelihood of the viewer staying on the channel. Contrastingly, the Media Society video asks viewers to support PETA, the animal charity, by following the links below. These links were to the social sites of the charity where viewers could donate, pledge or sign petitions. For viewers, this can be a highly rewarding process, knowing that their contribution is helping fight against the cruelty that they have just witnessed. Viral Life Cycle Nahon and Hemsley refer to the viral life cycle as the tracking of stages of a video within the network as it becomes a media event. The most fitting video to what Nahon and Hemsley describe is the media geek. There is a clear peak and lead up to the peak which is described as the exciting times when connections are constructed and information starts to diffuse. Contrastingly, this peak is most relatable to the social media posts that accelerated within the period, meaning that the views and engagements were driven by this use. The decay for this video, however, is as sudden and as sharp as the incline. Decaying is referred to as the rate of growth of the number of views that a media event receives. Although decaying is inevitable, this sharp decline may indicate the video's short sharing chain compared to other educational and instructional videos on the internet. 
We can also see from the afterlife of this video that later social media posts and shares ushered another peak of engagement. This video achieved 291 views, 22 likes, 6 shares and 12 comments. The YouTube metrics indicate that 70% of viewers were aged between 18 and 24. These statistics align with the target audience of my video which were students and people with media interests. To broaden my promotion in the future I would use different influencers when tagging and use an academic tone within the promotions to engage media professionals. According to Lindren's 2012 framework, my engagements through commenting ranked in the positive degree of participation. For example, within the 12 comments received, two comments noted their new understanding of the topic and how it had helped them. Five comments complimented the interest of this video, encouraging other videos to be as engaging, and the other five comments were of a positive nature. To compare this life cycle, I will also analyse my Media Society video, which received 9% more engagement, but 90 less views. The life cycle of this video doesn't represent a typical cycle that Nat Hummond and Hemsley argue for, however it does carry some qualities. There is no evidence for a steady incline in the growth stage of this cycle. It seems that upon upload and promotion the video peaked instantly. There is a decaying phase that runs succinctly with the definition of Nat Hummond and Hemsley suggesting that the decline of rate of growth falls gradually. The video achieved 189 views, 19 likes, 5 shares and 21 comments. The YouTube metrics indicate that 75% of viewers were female, 49% of views came from external traffic, and 89% of viewers were from people aged between 18 and 24. My target audience for this video was of this demographic, but I'd hoped to engage with an older age bracket too that the Canada Goose brand often appeals to. To do this upon reflection, it might have been worth contacting some older influencers who were activists in the area and by sharing the video amongst different online communities such as animal welfare Facebook groups. I was impressed with the 49% of views being drawn from external traffic because of the time and effort I had invested into following theory, applying theory and focusing upon strategy, something I will discuss in the next section. Social Media Influence We are seeing how in many ways the internet has become as much about interaction with others as it has about accessing information. A quote from Miller, 2008, in New Media Networking and Fatic Culture. Keeping interaction in mind, I planned out strategies for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Kieran McMahon stated in his article, Why Do We Like Social Media, that research has shown, unsurprisingly, that Facebook is the most common activity that university students switch to when studying. It then seemed appropriate to promote my Media Geek educational and instructional video via Facebook because of the strong links it seemed to have with my target audience, students. Furthermore, my Media Society video also performed well on Facebook. In fact, looking at all my YouTube analytics, Facebook attracted the highest percentage of external traffic to all of my videos. Granovetta argues for the endorsement of weak ties as a largely contributing factor for achieving a wide reach amongst audiences and for generating the bridge for which a video can cross to other types of platforms. Using Twitter's trending feature, I used applicable hashtags when tagging my influencers in order to capture an already active audiences. Tagging such accounts such as PETA, Mercy for Animals and Move to the World UK was helped for reach and attracting like-minded people who would be more likely to engage with the video. After the first week of my Media Society's promotion, I was contacted by a men's online magazine called The Hinted Online. They asked to include my video on their website and write a corresponding article. As Granovetta suggested, the utilisation of weak ties from this video enabled my video to hop from one platform to another, as they then shared my content on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and their website. For Nahon and Hemsley, this is a key characteristic for what they denote as viral media event. Use Instagram stories to promote my polls and extend my reach. It seems that this interaction drove a lot of curiosity and a lot of attention to my video. To conclude this essay it's important to note that within the time available the video that generated the lowest user engagement out of the two mentioned within this essay in terms of views, likes, shares and comments was my Media Geek video. It held good contagious qualities and encouraged the highest view count but wasn't consistent with its engagement. Although the Media Society video view count was disappointing for me, the social media strategy and plan proved efficient for the video's engagement success. On reflection, a more succinct connection with Burgess Steps framework might have encouraged a better statistics ratio, but nevertheless the contagious characteristics that were prevalent within the videos worked well. And that's all from me for now. If you enjoyed this video then please do click like and subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below of what you thought of my video essay and check out some of our other videos. This has been me, Olivia Seed from Media Pool. Thanks for watching!